Uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, we've been hearing a lot recently about Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, but there is finally another politician in the news. Because former President George W. Bush announced today that he's releasing a book of his paintings. <laughs> now, some of you might not know George W. Bush as a painter, but here's some of his past work. There, now... <laughs> Now, you may think that's a very good likeness to Vladimir Putin, but here's the thing, it was supposed to be Laura Bush. <laughs> now, he might not be a master painter, but honestly, isn't it just nice to see George W. Bush obsessed with a different type of oil? <laughs> that's what I'm saying, it's nice. <laughs> but here's another portrait that W. did, this one of his father, George Herbert Walker Bush, <laughs> just there. His dad responded saying, I think it's amazing how even after he's been president of the United States, my son can still be a huge embarrassment to me. <laughs> Moving on to two people who are currently running for president, recent polling has shown that Hillary Clinton's lead over Donald Trump has almost totally disappeared and the candidates are basically tied. That's right, they're neck and neck. Well, for Hillary, it's a neck. For Trump, it's more of like a gizzard thing. <laughs> uh, but... <laughs> Now, if you feel like this election's been bumming you out, you're not the only one, because this week, a study was released by the World Health Organization showing that the United States is the third most depressed country in the world after India and China. Yeah, I know. When Americans heard the news, they were like, oh, we only got a third? <laughs> and I gotta say, look, America, you, you gotta buck up, all right? Look, I understand India, China, they're overpopulated, they're polluted, but America, you guys are like, oh, there's no Wi-Fi at this restaurant. <laughs> How am I supposed to Snapchat my sliders? <laughs> I'm sad now. <laughs> but the thing is, it's been going over and over this in my head, and I just can't imagine what could be causing Americans to have such a negative outlook. And I'm like, let's, I don't know, I wonder what it could be. The American dream is dead. People are laughing at us all over the world. They think we're stupid, and we are. The stupid country run by very stupid people. You're living in poverty. Very, very stupid people. Your schools are no good. They are laughing at us back in Iran. You have no jobs. How stupid are the people of Iowa? The American dream is dead. <laughs> Nothing to be pressed about at all.